Welcome to this video on syncing two devices up using our device sync feature. The device sync feature is an optional feature which you will need to purchase for one of the devices. You, won't, you will actually need to get it running on both devices, but you will only pay once. This is, a, this is an add-on in which you go into our preferences screen on any of our apps, purchase the add-on, and then what you do is on the other device, you, um, you go into the preferences screen and you select the restore in-app purchases and that will, um, that will uh, add the feature to the other device. Now that's assuming that both devices are using the same iTunes account. If you want to use this feature and you, um, you are syncing two devices with do not use the same iTunes account, you will need to purchase the feature twice. But uh, if you're using the same iTunes, which is very likely most, uh, most if not all people are doing that, you just purchase it once, and then on the other device you do the restore in-app purchase, and it'll bring that feature down. So I can actually show you that. This is um, an, uh, an iPad simulator running um, uh, running expense tracker and it already has purchased the add-on but if you go into preps it's this one I'm talking about here restore in-app purchases if you tap on that on the other device after you've purchased this the add-on then uh, it'll restore it and add it to that device Now there's two what we call intermediaries that you can use you have a choice of two intermediaries to use when syncing. When syncing, there, there's a, the, the data is sent to a server, and then that's how the data is, is transferred be, device, be, between device and device. You can use Dropbox, or you can use iCloud. I highly recommend, uh, at, the, at the time this video was created, um, to use Dropbox. Um, iCloud currently can be used but it has some um, ha has some uh, caveats uh, I won't go into now, but uh, I'm going to show you how to use Dropbox to use the device sync. Uh, since Dropbox is a free account, you can go to www.dropbox.com if you don't have one already and create a free account. Uh, I I'd highly recommend using Dropbox. So the very first step in doing the sync is to go into the preferences screen. We're already here now and selecting Dropbox under the Sync Services section. Now if you had iCloud enabled on this device, you'd actually have the option to select iCloud, but we don't have iCloud enabled on this device, so we're just going to select Dropbox. Uh, if you uh, have not, if you've signed in to one of the other services using Dropbox, like the backup or the export, then you don't have to sign in again. Once you sign in once, you're given permission to, for our app to access your Dropbox and save files there. And that's what we need. So, uh, once we've done that, the, the next step is to perform what we call a first sync. The first sync, the first sync moves all of your data from one device to the other and completely overwrites the data now, explicitly the expense tracker or the biz expense tracker data. It doesn't write, overwrite all your data, just, just the data for our app onto the other device. So you have to choose one device that has all your data. Um, and then know that that snapshot of your data will then be brought over to the other device. And then you can move forward and make changes. So let's proceed. From the log view screen, now this is the log view screen, it lists a your logs. We actually only have one log. We tap on it actually we'll look at it as one entry. We go back to the log view screen, tap on options, and select sync. In this case, because we have Dropbox set as the intermediary, there's a blue Dropbox icon next to it. We tap on that. The very first question we're going to ask, be asked is, is this a first sync? Now in this case it is. Select yes. Then we're asked, okay, do you want to give all your data or take all your data from another device? It's very important that the very first step is that you go onto the device with all the data and you do a give. So we're going to do give. And what is that doing? It's uploading all the files 
that comprise this data and put them on your Dropbox. Now that's really invisible to you. We can take a look at the Dropbox, but you know, it's really not that interesting. The files are added. They're there, believe me. Um, and um, if, if you ever did want to look at them, go into your Dropbox, go into your expense tracker or biz expense tracker, mantra, whatever folder, then you'll see a sync folder, an expense tracker sync, expen a biz expense tracker sync. You'll see the files there. That's where the files that the other device is going to get. Now I'm going to go on, on a, a device off screen here and select uh, the options button, do sync, and it's going to ask me if this is a first sync. I'm going to say yes. Now this is off screen, you can't see this, but what you're going to do is on your other device, you're going to repeat the process. But instead of when you're asked the first sync, you're going to say yes again, but instead of giving, you're going to choose the take option. And what that's going to do is it's going to download the files from the Dropbox and, and place them and make an exact copy of your data on the other device. Now I have just done that. The two devices are equal. I'm done with the first sync. It's a one-time feature, one-time function that you need to do, one-time process. You only have to do this once. Now in the event you ever do, things ever do get Un, uh, out of sync for whatever reason. If you found an issue or so for some reason uh, a sync was interrupted and, and something didn't go quite right, you could always do a first sync again. And the way you do a first sync is you go on both devices, go on the prep screen, come to Dropbox, the sync services, and you select sign out. I'm going to cancel here. I'm not going to do it. But what you do is you'd sign out on both devices, sign in again, and then you'd be given the option to do a first sync. Now, right now, both devices are the same. So off screen, I'm going to create a new entry inside that log. I'm going to create an expense. I'm going to make it for $400. And I'm going to select the category to airfare. I'm actually doing this right now. I'm hitting the save button. And there it is. So I'm going to go back to the log view screen tap options and hit, hit sync. Now it doesn't ask me if it's a first sync because it knows we did one already. So what is it doing right now? It's uploading the changes to the server, the Dropbox server, and downloading any changes that we've submitted from this device. Now as you're noticing, this is not an automatic sync. We are working, at the time of this video was created, we did not have the automatic sync implemented as of yet. It is forthcoming. But right now, the, the sync is manual. So when you make a change on a device, when you, every so often, you issue the sync command. So I've issued the sync command on the other device. I've added an airfare expense entry for $400, but it does, doesn't show up here. It doesn't show up here because the sync's not automatic. But if I select options and select sync, now watch what happens. Bingo. We see that the, the, now the, the total is not just $7.75, it's $407.75. If we tap on this, and there's the airfare for $400. And that's, that's the sync process. Now you can make all different changes. You can delete entries. I'm actually, on the other device, I'm going to um, delete the breakfast item. There I go. I'm going to actually do a sync. So what that's doing is, uh, is uploading that change to the device, to the sync server, I mean. Then I'm going to come over here, go back, do sync, watch what happens. There we go. So now the, there's only $400 left. Now I'm also going to uh, uh, do one other change to prove to you that all this does indeed sync. I'm going to go into the log info screen and change it from February 2013 to Feb 2000. I'm going to change it to February. So I'm going to completely write it out. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y 2013. I'm going to save. Then I'm going to issue a sync command. Wait a second. Changes are uploaded. I'm going to go back here. Now watch this title here. Options, sync, syncing changes from other device, and there it is, February 2013, all spelled out. 
That's how device sync works today. It's very robust, it's solid, you can make changes on either device, and um, all you need to do is remember one thing, you need to issue a sync. And just remember, when you issue this sync command, what is it doing? It's first uploading any changes that you've made on this device to the server. Then it follows up by downloading any changes that the other device had uploaded to the server. And that is the, the two-part process of, of a sync, to, get, to upload changes to the other, other device and download from changes from the other device. Um, right now, this feature only syncs with two devices. For instance, an iPad and iPhone, two iPhones, two iPads. Um, if you've got an iPad Touch, an iPod Touch, I mean, you can use, use that. But it's only working with two devices. So keep that in mind. That's device sync in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please email us at info at silverwaresoftware.com. I recommend that you watch our other three videos in this four video series. The first video is on export, excuse me, backing up and, and um, restoring, which is different from syncing and different from emailing and different from exporting. So uh, that's backing up and exporting and uh, backing up and restoring, that's the first video. The second video is on emailing, specifically emailing reports. The third video is on exporting, which allows you to export reports directly to your Mac or your PC. And I believe that's all. If you, like I said, if you have any questions, please visit our website, watch some of the other videos, silverwaresoftware.com, or email, email us at info at silverwaresoftware.com. Thanks for watching.